it's a little bit like riding a bike it's the same with everything if you don't you don't get on the bike and just pedal away do you you know have a, a practice time. first mm -hmm. so make your first go about the technique rather than trying to be a perfectionist okay so all I've done there is just roll out the clay it's about a millimetre thick if you want to go a little bit thicker for the first one it won't hurt but you don't want the clay too thick otherwise the flour itself won't look very delicate when you finish with it so we're going to take the cutter this is the last largest cutter this is the easiest rose and I'm just going to press down into the clay and lift straight up and then if you go on a glass mat which mm -hmm. is the perfect surface you can just peel away oh, from around the edge just take that bit out there and leaving the rest of the piece of the clay on there. I'm just okay. going to pick that up. It doesn't matter if I stretch it a little bit because we're going to change it. I'm going to sit it onto my firm foamer mat. And we have got these as well. These are available. These are very important, actually. It's a very dense foam. If you do do sugar craft, it's the same mat. These are what the sugar crafters use. And I'm going to use the ball tool. Now there is the kit of the tools um, on the website as well, and I'm using the larger end of the ball tool. Lovely. And, and we're going to now five of those tools with this little mat. You do. Well. Right now, then, this is where we start the fun. So what I'm going to do, I'm holding the tool. It's about at a 45 degree angle, just above the mat, and I'm going to roll and press down onto the foam, and I'm just rolling over the edge of each petal. That is very important that you do that. Because this clay has just come from the pack and it's quite wet, I'm just going to pick up and turn the clay. Just because it, it can slick, stick slightly, I'm just going to speed up as I go around because I'm doing exactly the same thing all the way around. Don't worry about this centerpiece. You don't need to do anything there. So can you see what's happening there? As I work yeah. around, it's giving a little bit of a frilly edge to mm -hmm. it. And you can see how fine, if I pick that up, how fine that edge actually is. Oh, wow, yeah. There you go. The clay, as it dries, it gains strength. It gets stronger and stronger. And you can see as I just work around exactly the same way with each petal. You can go over more than once if you don't get it thin enough. But the most important thing I would say is make sure that ball tool, if I just slow down again there, goes right over the very edge onto mm -hmm. this foam mat. The worst thing you can do is go on the inside of the petal like okay, that. Okay, yeah. Can you see what happens? It starts yes. to cup inwards. Mm -hmm. Rather than frilling out, it starts to cup. So you want that nice frilly edge. There is actually a flower on the, the show, um, the peony, where you would cup the petals. Okay. Or to the centre of the flower, you would cup it. So there are different techniques for different flowers. So we've now worked around the whole of that flower mm -hmm. and I'm going to make the rose. So I'm just going to turn it over and fold in half. And you're literally just folding it half along the length of it. Okay. It doesn't matter if you press down where the fold is, but try not to squash the petals together at the top. Mm -hmm. Leave those just loosely open. What you'll find is you've got a petal sticking out as a single petal at one end, and if I turn over, it's the same at the other end. All right, yes. I picked up a bit of green chalk that I was playing with earlier, but never mind. <laughs> right, I'm right-handed, so I tend to put the flower into my left hand and then roll with the right hand. And we're just going to start by rolling the very end of the rose. Now, once it starts to pick up the double layer, sit it down on your mat and then continue just to guide that round. Try and ease it off a little bit as you roll around with the flower just ease it off a little bit just make sure those petals aren't sticking together okay and when you get to the final petal just stick down onto the clay you don't need to use any water or glue just pressing that down will hold so there from the top you can see i'm just going to open out those petals a little bit on the outer edge there mm -hmm. you can see we've got the flower beautiful from the side and from the bottom it's looking very chunky so we're going mm -hmm. to remove that now and that's very easy to do so i'm just going to get finger and thumb mm -hmm. underneath the bottom of the petals if you look from the side you can just see the split in between oh, the yes, petals yeah. there if you get finger and thumb with both hands there and just to start with squeeze very gently and turn and the more that you squeeze, you're closing those gaps off you can see the petals Start's actually so moving up. it's as though it's coming out into bloom and once you've gone so far, can you see where we've yeah. kind of got a neck to it now? You can just finish that off. Use a pair of scissors or just break away the clay. And all <gasps> that excess can be reused. And then you can just tweak the petals. Oh, my goodness. 